Let's translate John chapter 6, verse 35. Ipen of tis, o Jesus, ego imi o artos, tis zois, o erchomenos, pros eme umi pinasi. K o pistevon, is eme umi dipsisi papote. He said to them, Jesus, I am the bread of life. The one who comes to me, umi, will not ever be hungry, will not ever hunger. And the one who believes in me, umi, will not ever thirst. To diagram it here, we have Jesus as the subject. And he said, so Jesus is the subject. And then we have Avtis, the indirect object. What does he say? He says, I am, put it over here as well. I am the bread of life. So, O Artos is nominative, but we already have our subject, ego, I. So, this is a predicate nominative. And then we have tis, zoes being our genitive. I am the bread of life. Now we have a new subject. The one who comes... to me. Now, while this is accusative, we have a nominative phrase here with this uh, substantive participle. Okay, so this is accusative, but it's part of this participle. And we have our negative particles here, and then we have our, our main verb right here. So the one who comes to me, umi, certainly will not be hungry. And then it draws a parallel. The one who believes in me. This is the same setup as before. We have a substantive participle followed by our accusative here. This accusative is tied to our participle. We have our negative particles, our main verb, and we have an adverb. You can put this wherever. I'm just going to put it right after. And the one who believes in me, umi, will certainly not thirst ever. From an English standpoint, we'll just say will not ever thirst. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. The one who comes to me will never be hungry and the one who believes in me will never be thirsty will never thirst let's take a look at the vocabulary he said to them jesus i am artos baked product produced from cereal grain bread loaf it can be used of any kind of food or nourishment i am the bread of life the one who comes to me will never be hungry. This is used of all types of food here. To hunger, penao, feel the pangs of lack of food, so hunger pangs, desire something strongly, to hunger for something. You can see BDAG here says the longing for spiritual food. And then pistevon, this is pistevo, to believe, to trust, put faith in, faith in me. Dipsao, this is to be thirsty, to have strong desire to attain some goal, thirst. So this is the literal up here, this is the figurative extension of number one above. 
So be hungry, thirsty, and popote. This is an adverb to an indefinite point of time, ever, at, at any time. You can see the gloss down here, will never thirst again. Will not ever thirst. But what does oo mean? Oo, objective, negative adverb, denying the reality of an alleged fact in the New Testament used with the indicative. Whereas me serves as the negative for the other moods, including infinitive and participle. But there are exceptions. Now we want to see it in combination with me here. Ooh, me. And here we have ooh, me, see me. So let's go straight to me rather than look at moo or ooh. Negative particle, not me is the negative of will, wish, or doubt. If ooh denies the fact, me denies the idea. For Kini, it's simplified. U is generally the negative used with the indicative. Me is used with the other moods. But we're looking for the combo. Ina me, oste me, u dina me, me. Also very frequently where earlier Greek would require u for me here. This still doesn't quite match what we've got. It's not present imperative. It's not aorist, it's not uh, subjunctive either. In this case, it's singular, future, active, indicative. And up here, this one is subjunctive, it's aorist subjunctive, but here it's future active indicative. With future indicative instead of the subjunctive following, ora mi polon, it's still not what we have here. But this would be verbs of fearing. Mm, that's not what we have. Reinforced negation. In combination with u mi, it has the effect of strengthening the negation. U mi is the most decisive way of negating something in the future. With the subjunctive, this is what we have with pinasi. Be hungry. Never, certainly not. And because it's Aorist, we could say the one who comes to me certainly won't be hungry. But because it has this present participle, the one who comes, I'm going to leave it as present in translation. The one who comes to me certainly will not, although I guess I'm using the future there. The one who comes to me certainly will not be hungry. And this aligns well with the translation from the next phrase, the one who comes or believes in me certainly will not be thirsty, ever be thirsty. So to translate, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. The one who comes to me most certainly will not be hungry. And the one who believes in me most certainly will never thirst. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Otherwise, brush up on your Hebrew or Greek, and we'll see you next time.